Hi, I'm going to have a go at this. It's a picture sent to me by my daughter. She was in Wales over the weekend, mountain biking. Uh, so I think it's near a place called Chris Wen. Um, and I, I don't know it personally. I've heard of it, of course. I've not been there. I've been to the South Wales and North Wales. But I believe it's somewhere in the middle. Uh, they're staying in, uh, outside Birmingham and just uh, not so far. But they're trying to find better trails to, to uh, exercise their skills and get fit. So I'm not going to copy it. I'm going to do a version of it, like an impression. So here we are. Um, Cosmo watercolours, 21mm tubes. I've sprayed them to soften them, give them a bit of a... Um, make them easier to, to, to uh, get on the brush rather than scrub away too much. So I've got lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. So I'm going to, with this two inch hake, I'm going to wet the paper and I'll put some sky in but most of it's going to be covered up. But we want some light in the sky to, to show that there is some sky and we're looking up as well as down. Okay, so I want a bit of a lizard and crimson. Now, where's my cloth? Could I have, a, could I have your cloth? All right, let's put this there out of the way. I'll put my cloth on my little table here I've got from my desk. Right, so a bit of alizarin and crimson, a bit of ultramarine. Oh, we need a bit of, bit of uh, yellow oak, uh, raw sienna. I use yellow oak in, in my, my acrylics and raw sienna in my watercolours. It's a more transparent colour than than the yellow ochre. Right, so a bit of blue and just, just get this background in and we can put some, some distance in by just increasing the amount of alizarin and I can't remember what I was going to say there. So that, that's our background and we're getting some some nice spring green for the trees because it's the darling buds of May. And if you remember the lovely series with David Jason and Pam Ferris and the lovely, I can't remember her name at the moment, um, married to uh, Michael Douglas. Lovely, lovely program. Always summer in, in Kent, darling buds of May. They put all this in here. Get, this. get some of that up here. The trees, spring green. We'll have some darker greens as well. Lots coming down here, so we need a bit thick there. So, so a little bit of paint grey. Coming out there. Loads of this. Some up there, but leaving some of the sky to show through. Now we want some richer, darker green. So add some burnt sienna to the lemon yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. Okay, so we're we'll, we we'll put in some of this. We've got some rocks. A bit of light in there. Coming down into the shadow, so there's some burnt umber with that yellow and the paint's grey. So we can put some of that in. This is like a little stream going down in there, so get your darks in. Anything that makes it dark, blue, burnt umber. So we can scrape away at some, some rocks. We get some on the other side. Just let that dry up a little bit. Uh, so we've got a nice grassy slope. Come down there and we've got, let's put some nice burnt umber in. 
going off into the distance there. Get the blue in with that, just to darken it. So I'm looking at this, the photograph. It's sent me a lot, there's some lake ones. I'm very, very delighted with those. Thank you, Lucy. Send them all on WhatsApp, which is a great, uh, a great application, it's a free on, on internet. Send loads of pictures. Uh, right, okay. Now the, there's a nice little bit of hard rock there. That's just good there because we can scrape that. I we'll put some more dark, more rich dark in here. In the shadow of of the wood. Some of this in, just some rocks poking through. I mean, parts of Wales are very rocky, very lovely. Okay, let's get some more of that green in there. All right, okay. I don't think I can uh, lift out much of that there. Right. I'm just going to stretch the paper. Okay, so just picking out the high spots of these sort of rocky bits and then. Do this fairly quick because it's drying and scrape off the, the high spots on this. We can add textures to this later. And then we'll I'm looking at the photograph and I'm sort of guessing some of that. Right, loads of dark rocks in here. And by the time I put some some texture on that, it'll be quite a lot better than that. Okay, so while that's drying off, we'll put in some uh, trees in the background. Now they're all they're all like green, so a good a good colour for light catching spring light on trunks is a burnt sienna, a raw sienna and lemon yellow. And a bit of paint grain maybe. Excuse me while I rage. Okay. Right, okay, so we'll, we'll put in some, some of these darker, darker, lighter trees and I can add a bit of shadow. On the shadow side, so the light's coming from the left on this, so. Put too many in. We have some darker ones coming into the, the shadow of the, the wood. I'll put some stipple on this at the end. So let's get a little bit darker, darker green on one side of that. A little bit burnt, I'm burning paint grey in there. Right, okay, that'll do for that. We can go a little bit darker, maybe. 
is a sort of a dark green shadow. Right. The, the ones on the right hand side, because they're more in the shadow, we'll all paint them dark. So we've got these coming out from here. See what the hate can do. If it's flat, you can get some lovely impressionist looking uh, trunks. And we can just lighten that up a little bit. What has it? some of the background ones. I'll do some rigor work on some of these. Hey. So there's a lot of work in this with all this calligraphy. Taking it up, taper it off. Paper's drying now. It's a lovely day today. At well, the moment it is. We were supposed to have a lot of rain in London over the weekend, but we didn't get any. We're not here, we had a few specks, a few splashes, but about all. Okay, well, we we'll, let that go there. I'm going to put some larger ones in. Brown, yellow, and grey. So it's like a little dark sort of green. So let's get get this one. Nice dark on the shadow side. And a little bit of wiggle work, I think. Um, right, I don't, I don't, there's one coming up here, but I'm, I don't think, yeah, I should put it in there. I'll put some bigger ones here. So these are warmer colours, so a bit of burnt sienna to that. In shadow. I'll uh, rig of this in a minute. Go there. one of those. Let's get some light on that if I can. No, I can't really. A bit, bit, bit of raw sea in there. Right, a bit of texture now. Because it's all dark stuff in here against the light coming through the trees. I'm not masking you. The trouble is, when I do the speeded up version, if I have my head gets in the way too much, or the pilot, I know it gets annoying, it would annoy me. Okay. Right. Uh, I think a bit of, bit of, uh, bit of, um, stiffle. Using the hake, just splashed up on the, uh, on the dry bit of cloth, just to spread all the, the hairs the bristles. This is a very soft brush and we can have lemon yellow into that darker colour there. So let's just Ooh. 
all to create an impression of springy greens. We'll put some darker ones in as well. There's a lot here because there's the trees behind this. There we've got a nice showing the light out here. But a little goes a long way with stipple. Right, let's just have a bit of bit of darker green in here. to show the shadow bits, otherwise it's just being monotonous. That's on the shadow side of those trees there. And a richer darker green and some of this in the shadow. Now we could do some, something about that water now. There's not a lot of water in there. Uh, we're just, just showing reflection in some of the right. that's the best I'm going to do. Monday morning phone goes. Now some uh, some rigor, burn umber and a bit of paint spray. Oh, too much. Hold the rigger at the end so that you'll get a more fluid stroke and random effects. Some of this. No room for any birds. Used much warm colour, only the burnt, burnt umber. Right, well, that's about all I can do with that. I think I'll give it a second. So I'll put it in the mount. And we'll have a look to see what what we've done. Let's put the signature on. Okay. Uh, a bit of tape. A bit of tape. So what we've done is to produce a painting, an impressionist painting that, I'm not sure if it's the right colour, but I've left out all the de as much detail as I can. So I've, I've absolutely ruthlessly simplified a complicated team, which is how you cope with a, with a photograph, because the photograph puts it all in. Artists would leave it all out. Uh, right, okay, let's bring the camera around to there. And we'll have a look at that. Now I'll show you the uh, the model. So there we are. That's sorry about the reflection on the screen, but I can't do much about that. And that's what I've done with it. It's really simple, but the, it's a good dodge using this raw sienna and, and lemon yellow for your darker background trees well, your lighter background trees, shall I say, compared to the ones in the foreground. Rather than using, say, blue and red or grey, we've got a more realistic green because of the algae and so on. Uh, a very green scene anyway, but I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. I'll just zoom out so you can... That's it. 
So I think it's near Liswen, Liswen, double L, Y S, uh, W E N, I believe. Uh, but Wales is a beautiful part of the UK, and so are the Welsh people. They they all sing and they all they're all poets. Right, see you soon. Bye bye.